Hi, in case you haven't watched our previous videos, my boy girl twins are five years old. We are in California. The compilation of videos in this particular video are all from April 2020 when we had a shelter in place in order and the schools were shut down for the rest of the school year. A lot of people were working from home and a lot of moms like me were trying to find ways to entertain and keep our kids busy at home all day. I'll divide this video into two parts. First, the activities, toys, games to keep the kids busy and hopefully you will find some ideas helpful for your kids. And second, a little about me, motherhood and my time spent with the kids. Another month as we continued staying home, we brought a few changes in our schedule and here are some of the many things that we did. Magnetic building blocks and tiles are good STEM toys to keep the kids busy. This Macformas set is 30 pieces and they finish building very quickly. A 62 or 144 piece is a much better idea to keep the kids busy for a longer period of time at a stretch and to give them a chance to get creative. What is that they're using? A rocket spaceship. What step are you on? Is that what it looks like? Getting them ready to get out of the house to go for any classes on time used to be so difficult, so I didn't enroll them in any. But from the comfort of home, for the first time I enrolled them in some art classes on Zoom and was absolutely surprised that they could follow the instructions, draw the outlines and paint all on their own. I also realized that it's so simple to pick a YouTube video of whatever the child is interested in. There are so many incredible channels with so many useful tutorials to learn from and to get them busy. Sometimes kids follow someone else's directions much better than parents' instructions. So then came many more such art and drawing and coloring and painting tutorials for them. On some days, it's a blessing to outsource and relax. I also introduced them to Cosmic Kids Yoga on YouTube and guess what? They never participated in yoga whenever I used to try teaching them since the last one year. But the storytelling along with yoga on Cosmic Kids channel and those 45 minute episodes work like magic. Since we modified our schedule this month, I had them do yoga at 11 a.m so that there's a gap after they've had their breakfast by 9 and so that they exercise enough to be hungry for lunch at noon. Good rolling, honey. Put it back in the entrance closet. To get the kids moving, on alternate days, they did Go Noodle on YouTube, which has song and dance in contrast to Cosmic Kids, which has story and yoga. Everyone everywhere has been talking only about coronavirus these days. It's the same at our household too. So what should we do to protect ourselves? To protect ourselves, not go outside, wash your hands, wash hands with soap, sanitize our hands if the washing hands doesn't work. Okay. That's how to protect yourself. Something else about protecting and ourselves. Don't go near people oh. if they have fever. Usha made me forget my question because he was talking when I was talking. Okay, Usha, please don't talk over him. We do what we can to save ourselves. Do what we can. You people, think? What do you think everyone should do? Everyone should do. They they should stay home. I miss to to go to Chipotle. Do you miss going to Chipotle? All right, slide, slide forward. Keep coming. But you're on. 
Keep trying. Whoa. Good. On days when it was nice and sunny, we enjoyed our time outdoors. Alicia practiced a little roller skating, still a beginner. And on most days, they enjoyed riding their scooter. They start chit-chatting after every few minutes, so I have to remind them to get moving. And Keisha was practicing basic skateboarding too these days. We also went to the park and I was amazed to see how smoothly Alicia is riding her scooter now. She was so scared of it just three months back. <laughs> and doesn't it feel like a milestone when your child learns to ride a bicycle without the training wheels, without the help, balancing on their own and riding away? On another sunny day, we enjoyed some life-size snakes and ladders in the backyard. And oh boy, what an exercise this was with all the squats and sitting up and down for a good five minutes. I drew the boxes and numbers and drawing snakes and ladders after every few numbers with our favorite Crayola washable sidewalk chalk. To make the dice, I wrapped a box with large paper. A square box would be ideal to make this dice. And then I used paint to draw the circles because a marker and coloring in the circles would have taken too long. This life-size snakes and ladders in the backyard kept them busy and moving outdoors instead of sitting and playing shoots and ladders Number indoors. Five. All right, go five steps. You're on 16, so go, uh-huh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, Keisha, your turn. Go two you steps. Turn. Go two steps. Well, you're number twenty. So what? Which two steps will you take? One, One two. two, and you got a ladder. Okay. Okay. Stay on your spot, and Alicia, roll the dice. Two. I win. You won. Ladder. <laughs> I should give him the dice. Roll it up. Five. Uh uh, still can't. And then there's always some puzzles to keep them busy indoors. Oh, how kids grow up from those 24 piece giant floor puzzles to smaller 100 piece puzzles that they learn to put, put together. Then the sense of accomplishment they feel. That is very nice, you guys. Now well done. Put, now let's put it on any kind of paper. Gently so this doesn't break. But it's okay, we can start all over again. No you need to worry. This month of April, there was a quarantine handprint craft that was making the rounds on the internet. So we made one as a keepsake, too. We also read books that we had borrowed from the library before the shelter in place happened. It's Sesame Street. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's called Sesame, not a CC. With teeny tiny hairs. I didn't know there was hair on tongue. I just knew those dots were taste buds. <laughs> When something touches the hairs, they send a message to your brain that tells it whether the taste is sweet, salty, bitter, sour, or just plain yucky. Ew! Oh, you're hurting me with your elbow. Ew! You have about 10,000 taste buds on your tongue. And, all right, facts. Your tongue contains eight muscles. Human tongues are about four inches long. 
A blue whale's tongue weighs as much as an elephant. <gasps> what? You know a whale is the biggest mammal? Uh -huh. And the tongue of a blue whale, the weight of the tongue is as much as the weight of an elephant. Bamba. That is... How is that even possible? Am I reading it correct? Wait, mama, wait, mama, mama, I want to guess. Hey, what's this? That's what? about the ears. All the books in this series are great reads for children. I also got them to help around with the chores at home. Like I had said in my first video, this is a time to not just learn academic skills at home, but also life skills. I have been trying to teach them that these little things they do around the house are not just a help for me, but as they grow up, they need to think of it as a responsibility of everyone in the house. They played the junior version of sequence with pictures of animals when they were four, but now at age five, they're trying to play this sequence game with two decks of cards. Right now, I'm tired, so I'm letting them play random. Next time, I'll teach them the rules again. One morning, we took our spelling, phonics, and guessing game outdoors to get some movement done too. I drew the lines and boxes and asked them to write the alphabets using sidewalk chalk. Then I asked them questions, they had to guess the answer, and then spell out the CVC word by running to the alphabets. When, uh, when kids go to school, they have to sit inside the vehicle, the yellow color vehicle to go to school. It's a bus! Bus. Your next word is bus. Spell bus. B. B. Keshav, go run to the next B. Keshav, B. Us. Us. Bus. B. U. Us. Us. Uh, uh, you. Kesha found the U. Next. And us, us. Us. Why do you want the T? It's bus. Kesha spelled it out first. Why? Why are you spelling T? Butts. No, it's bus, not butts. It's bus. V U S bus. Kesha spelled it out first. <laughs> Alright. Your next word is. Okay. Sometimes when you. When you don't go to school in a bus, you can go in a. Your next word is van. Another mode of transportation is van. Wa, wa, wa. Find we. Keshav, leave her. Found one. Alicia found the we. A. Okay. A, a, an. And I spelled it first. Alicia spelled it first. Keshav, what happened? What do the archaeologists have to do R. in the ground to find things? Oh, no, okay. Dig! Dig! That's your word! D. D. Alicia found the D. Geshe, go to the next D. 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 Ig. Ig. Dig. No, no. Not E. It's not deg. It's dig. Ig. 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 All right, she what? spelled it out first. Dig. The last one, spell your names, guys. Got it. Done. All right, Alicia, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Itch. Hey, Alicia. All right, good. Are you interested in seeing photos from when I was a little girl? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. All right, go sit there and I'll show you the pictures. Make space. On another day when I did not have any activities planned and I was too tired to make one, I gave them the huge stack of hard copies of my photographs from my good old days to look at. No, I'm just cutting my birthday cake. My friends um, celebrated my birthday. Look at this happy birthday. Look at our glitter. Oh, look at you. So pretty. Thank you. Hey, Wendy, this is when you grew up. 
Yeah. One bright morning, we played the name game. It's an easy fitness challenge and alphabet challenge and a spelling challenge for the kids simultaneously. You have to do the simple exercises listed on each alphabet as per your full name. That's all. For a level up, my daughter and I spelled out all our names, Nisha, Alicia, and Keshav that morning by exercising what each letter asked us to do. And phew, we were exhausted. You can find this printable on our website, keshalish.com, if you want to try this activity with your kids. One, two, three, four, five, five ah! six, <laughs> six. Don't come near me. Seven. Keisha, why don't you do this along with me for my name? Eight. Nine. Ten. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen, twenty. Could I do mine? Please wait. Next is hop like a frog eight times. Okay. How does a frog hop? Like this? One, no. two, like this. Four, oh. three, four, seven, eight. Oh. Thank God my name is not too long. Jump up and down ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nisha, done. They have been obsessed with this toy, this maze sphere, since a couple of months. This is Perplex's 3D maze with 100 obstacles. They have a new version now, that's why this one looks different. Because ours was bought four years ago. At that time, it was for ages 6 plus, whereas their new edition says for ages 9 plus. And trust me, it's fun but so challenging even for a 35 year old like me. I have seen how it teaches them to focus and be careful not to drop the small ball out of its path. How it teaches them to keep patience as they roll the sphere to stay on track as they go from one number to the next. I highly recommend this toy. Let's say maybe for uh, seven to eight year olds and above. What number are you on now? Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. What number did it drop? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. How does one go down without dropping it then? Just drop it. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go next? I'm down. down on the orange back. Oh, okay. Two, two, number two. What? Don't make any noise, Mama. Why? Because I'm turning! She's on the tricky part. On the tricky part. Why don't you just do that tricky part? Why do you always keep giving it to her when you come to a tricky part? Shh. Be quiet. Shh. You shh. You also. Oh. Sorry. Mama wasn't letting you focus. <laughs> And then you can always trust Lego to keep the kids busy. This one is a junior version, Lego Duplo, good for two to four year olds. I'm now on the lookout for something for ages six plus. On another day, I put my temporary tattoos on them and they were so happy. The little joys. That's his tattoo and I'm putting my feather tattoo. Is it ready? Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Done. Let it, Your turn. let it dry up for a little bit. Yes, too. correct. Let it dry up. Go! There we go. Right? Look at
in the mirror. Put your hand. Okay. Can you give After that, hand? we played pretend. And a small doctor set can be a big help. Not just for a pretend play that can easily go on for half an hour, but also to teach simple things with the little knowledge that I have about the tools or what the problems okay. are that we could go to the doctor for, questions to ask the doctor, or I would throw in a little brush your teeth twice a day and eat healthy food and other such reminders while playing. This medicine. It helps the whole body. Okay. This is my walkie-talkie toy. The walkie Are you done with your uh, craziness? <laughs> so that was about the kids and now a little about me. I joined some of their yoga sessions, but the storytelling on the Cosmic Kids channel was a little too slow for me, so I prefer doing yoga on my own on most days instead. And inspired by my kids, after so many years, I also tried some art therapy for myself after their bedtime. And I was excited to show it to them the next morning. And we did a little dancing where my daughter was my dance teacher. Alicia and I have straight hair and because the grass always looks greener on the other side, we both love curly wavy hair. 20 years ago, this is how I used to make braids on myself and leave it for days. And now I'm having her try it out too. Oh, you are going to be so surprised. Well, what do you think, Kish? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Looks amazing. Yeah. I love your hair. Are we done? Hang on. And ooh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> well, it's not gonna last long, but whatever it'll last, we'll be happy with it. Okay. Now. Is it? What have you done? I wrapped up my bear. Why? From. Because it's my baby bear. Who told you to? No one. I just did it myself. Why? Because this bear is my baby. Oh, you're but, so cute. And my bear doesn't do poopy. <laughs> or sisu. <laughs> my bear doesn't do poopy and sisu. He just keeps on eating, eating, eating honey. What are you feeding the bear? Hmm? First you put a put the powder yeah. on your face. Mm. Hmm. And then you press it on your that face and okay. then take it out and then you look white color. <laughs> and you look very scary. <laughs> 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 okay. yes. I love, love you, Mama, Mama, very much. I love you too, Beto. Good morning. Morning, Mama. I love you. I love you. Where did the sun rise from today? Did the sun come up from the north or the south? South. Huh? <laughs> How come you are showing each other so much love today? How come? Because we love each other and you. Oh my wow, god, what a day. Good morning, you guys. It's so late today. Mommy woke um, up so can late. Can you show you something? Can you mm, love me as well so no, much? No, not eat then you. Okay, I'm waiting for my turn. Can you hurry up and come love me too? Love turn. <laughs> Six weeks of shelter in place and we have been through a roller coaster ride of moments and emotions. It is well known that children observe and absorb a lot from us adults. When what we speak, how we say it, what we do, how we react, everything is evaluated by them it becomes a little difficult to model perfect behavior when we are together 24-7 amidst the immense amount of stress. If this quarantine period was a true test of everything I am as a parent and the expectations I set for them and expect from them, 
Let's just say I have a lot to work on. But we are learning each and every day, making mistakes and forgiving ourselves, moving on, accepting, adapting, growing, making a little promise and having a little faith as we go to sleep under the moon and waking up with hope at the next sunrise. Keeping this hope alive, it's everything.